knocking at your door, boy. Get my ass out of this shit. Having a hard time getting a shot. Shit, don't got much left to give. Ugh. Coño, no necesito esta mierda. What? Trouble? Yeah, my whole fucking life. It's a letter from my grandmother. Writes me to wish my mother happy birthday. You know, who she saw get dragged away back in 10 de octubre. Jesus. Don't. It's nothing. Fuck it. You got something for me? I got another truck stash ready for you guys to pick up. Really? Hmm. Huh. Our kind of guys have fucking pussies. No problem then? Not a one on my end. Good. So it shouldn't be a problem to bring more trucks. Sure, Alma. I'll see what I can do. After this guy and I screwed last night, he started yammering on and on about some shit. I was only halfway listening. But he hooked me when he started talking about this warehouse I had my eye on. Turns out they just got some new shipments. I want them. And if you see any of their delivery trucks, Bring them back here and I will see what we can salvage. Oh, 
over here. That fucking stand, that's a new one. Ugh. Can I get a resupply in River Road? I'll head your way now. You spot anything you can use? Let me see what you got. Yes, what? Some wheels. Burke says you're the only person we're talking to about it. Uh, Vito says you can help me get this bread of mine to a safe place. Can't help you right now. Sorry. Come on. Come on. Got a car here for you. That's a big help.
I can go. Fuck it. You get that truck? Yeah. Let me guess. You need more. As many as you can find. Anything you grab helps us get this operation going. I thought I'd forgotten this song. You're from Cuba? Goddamn pain that this grandmother of mine. She sent this fucking mental time bomb. He was playing when the policia came for my parents. The old man wasn't political. Hell, he was a clerk in the government. But he had this drinking butt in the city. Mr. Roberts. White guy. Always around. And I bet that motherfucker was real political. He slipped out of the country before Castro started putting down spies and traitors. My folks, though, not so lucky or smart. My papa, they shut right there. My mama, I don't know. So just you and your grandmother got out? One old lady and a screaming brat pissing all over herself, wearing worth the bullets or the trouble. You ever think about going back for your mother? A few years ago, I heard she was at the Pinos before it shut down. Nothing after that. Sometimes I think you and Vito got the right idea. Fuck the past and kill every motherfucker that gets on the way of what's coming next. But I want to know. I, wa I want to know what happened to her. Is she still alive? So maybe I will set aside enough money to smuggle myself back in and see what I can find. Put that part of my life to rest. Keep the trucks coming, Lincoln. We're hitting the mother law here, my friend. I just got off the phone with some scumbag who's trying to get into my pantalones. Asshole gave me heads up of some big rigs that are carrying high-end products. Get them, bring them back to me, and you'll be like money grows on trees.
know it. We're cleaning this place up right thanks to you. How is life running with her? I got it covered. Good. Because I'm getting word those Dixie Bousons are starting to interfere with our dwarfs. They can try all they like. Still won't change the outcome. You getting in touch with your artistic side? My wife used to draw on anything she could get her hands on. Half the time, she didn't even realize what she was doing. And yet, every stroke was perfection. She's still back in Haiti? Yes. It is where she is buried. Yes, we've all had our share of losses. Our losses, Frey, are nowhere near the same. I'm just trying to turn the page, set things right with you. And you think comparing the deaths of our loved ones will do that? Papa Doc had my wife tortured trying to locate me. He had the tonton Makut bludgeon my children to death in order to save bullets. When I last saw my wife, her eyes had ruptured from the electroshock. My little boy, his face was caved in. And my little girl, she had been hit so hard she was decapitated. They were faultless. So you and me, Foy, we are nothing in common. Makano is an evil man. In that there is no question. But just because an evil man kills, it does not mean his victims are innocent. Innocence ain't a thing that exists around folks like us. At least not for long. Hell, I'm not even sure I know what it looks like anymore. I used to. Moss. But the bloody eye get the quick eye that picture fades. But that's not important right now. Important thing is getting our weed back from the Dixie Mafia. A large shipment of marijuana is at this dock. Get it and bring it back. Not worth as much money, but we can sell everything you bring back. Me. Never stood a fucking chance. Huh? I ain't giving up that easy. Oh, we lost one, fellas.
this way. Holy balls! Seek and ye shall find! Got him! Over here! Uh, look at who decided to stop by. Thought you forgot about me. Running weed takes time. That it does, Fred. Can't imagine what it must have been like running people. How many folks you think you got out of Haiti? I only remember those I could not save. Bullshit. When I was in country, once in a while we get a chance to evacuate a village before the napalm dropped. Wasn't well, SOP, but we still did it. Had a couple close calls when the bombers showed up early. But I remember every single face. So how many were there? Forty-three. Should have been more, but some folks didn't trust us. Thought we were gonna march them into a shallow grave. Still remember the fear in their eyes. Nothing motivates quite as well as fear. Not a damn thing. So how would it? What was your count? Two hundred and twenty-six. Goddamn. One boat every night for ten months. Mostly women and children. The men were either enlisted or disappeared. We had more refugees than we knew what to do with. They didn't always survive the trip, but dying on the bateau running from Papa Doc was better than the alternative. Dodging Dixie Cox took a sound like Christmas morning by comparison. If you would have told me 15 years ago that all this would happen, I would have called you crazy. I believe I'd die an old man with my family all around me. Yeah. Not in this life, anyway. No. Not in this life. Keep winging in the marijuana, Frey. This is our life now. Go to this warehouse. Inside, there's a large stash of our weed. Kill the assholes guarding it and then bring it back. <laughs> 